Hello, today we're taking a look at Sam Broadcaster Pro. This is an internet radio broadcasting software that allows you to get started and broadcast radio to the internet so you can be doing a live radio station, a talk show, what have you. This is a professional grade broadcasting software that we're going to be taking a look and demoing. So let's go ahead and take a look at Sam Broadcaster Pro. As you can see here, the interface is uh, very scattered. It has a lot of control panels here, but this is very key, of course, and it's very customizable if you are broadcasting a show on the internet because it gives you a look at everything ongoing. Now, you're going to have to go ahead and set up your hosting platform depending on how you choose to broadcast your show. So you can go ahead and go into the config and look at all of that. So you can put your station details, uh, all the information here in your configuration depending on where you're broadcasting. From there, you have other options such as the player option, the customization of your windows, which is one of the big aspects of Sam Broadcaster Pro. You can really kind of adjust the layout to your preference, and you can even save layouts uh, so that you can come back to them at another time. You also have other tools here, and as well as options for help. And if you're on the trial, you can go ahead and buy the software completely. Now, the way it works here is you can have multiple decks or audio inputs. So, of course, if you're playing music, you can kind of have one song queued up here. So I can be playing a song, and I can stop a song. Of course, I can jump to the next one. I can adjust the audio levels here. I can also look at things like the, uh, the EQ and adjust all the other things like cue a track here um, and have it like raise up to level, for example, if I want the volume to raise over time. I have deck B, which allows me to cue up another song as well. And I have auxiliary input, so if I have like a microphone or other sound I want to broadcast, you can, of course, tune all that in. You can do voice effects as well, so you have your mic on here, you can configure that. You can adjust the music and mic volume here. You have your sound effects, so you can do things like uh, you know, all these random ones that they have here. So for example, a phone ring there. So it's great for like custom sound effects for your show. You have fade control here. So if you want to fade a song out, fade it in. Your cue will show up here on the right. And keep in mind, this is just the default interface. So this will show you everything you have queued up. You can point into your media library so you can have songs queued up. You can see your history of songs played down below. And then your playlist, you can go ahead and find them and then, you know, point to them as well. As well as your tracks in the selected category. Now, once you're broadcasting live, so once I go on air, if I was to go on air here, you'll be able to see your viewers and your peak viewers as well as your broadcasting time. All of that will be displayed. And then you can jump to different desktops here. So, for example, you can go to desktop B, which has more things like your encoders, your static relays, and track or desktop C, which has a, just a different sort of interface here. You have an auto DJ mode as well as a manual DJ mode and all sorts of other controls available to you in SAM Broadcaster Pro. Now, whether you're a beginner or advanced, this is a great piece of software to really get you started on the world of internet broadcasting and giving you all the controls in one interface and panel. And keep in mind, this is a professional-grade software, so it takes some getting used to if you are new, but this is you know, high-quality controls and tons of features packed into the interface here. Now, that being said, you can go, of course, down in the link below to go ahead and try and or buy Sam Broadcaster Pro. And if that's too expensive for you, if you can't shell out the money as of right now, then you can go ahead and check out their other alternative, which is Sam Broadcaster Cloud. And this is a cloud-based service that you can go ahead and choose the plans from bronze all the way to silver and gold. And you can see there's a difference between some of these. Uh, and you'll also see the difference between the cloud and pro version. There are some features that you don't ideally get in the cloud version. So, for example, you see you don't get like the Sam Reporter for advanced reporting. Um, you don't get multiple working areas and stuff like that for your interface, but it is um, essentially cheaper because you can pay for $5 a month. So to, for the first month, it would be just $5, and you can go again with a silver or gold, or even now they have a bronze package, it looks like. So you can save on the first month with our link, as well as, again, it's a subscription service, and that means you can uh, cancel anytime you want. So if you're not using the software, if it's not for you, you can cancel and as always, your purchase is protected by HTTPS protocol, so it's very safe to buy here online. So if you're looking to get into the broadcast internet radio world, be sure to check out our links down below for Sam Broadcaster Pro.